How did they pass a piece of legislation that didn't allow us to negotiate with the pharmaceutical manufacturers for the price of prescription drugs? I can tell you, in my home state of Maine, this was an issue for years. When I first got elected in 1992 to my state legislature, senior citizens came up to me and said, do you see what it cost me to buy my prescription drugs? And then every year it got worse and worse and worse as the pharmaceutical manufacturers. Some of the wealthiest corporations, multinational corporations in this country, were able to sell their drugs at the highest prices in the world to senior citizens in America, those people who had to pay cash for their prescription drugs, those people who had to decide whether they put heating oil in their tank to keep warm, whether they put food on their table. But when the Republicans came to the point where they could have changed the law, like they do in Canada, like they do in virtually every other country in the world, where they could have done what they're always telling us, be like a good business, good business practices. You know, I own a small business. I wouldn't think of buying something that I didn't negotiate for. Well, that's what that bill said. It said, we won't negotiate. In fact, we will give them the sweetheart deal. You know how I first found out about this? I got on a bus with senior citizens from the state of Maine. Let me tell you how it works. We stop in Biddeford, Maine, and then we go to Portland, Maine, and then we go to Lewiston, Maine. We stop at places all along the state of Maine, and we drive all the way up to the Canadian border. No, I will not yield. We get all the way to the Canadian border. I didn't ask we, you to yield. But you had that look. Uh, we get to the Canadian border, and we visit with a dually licensed physician so that they can rewrite their prescription, take it across the Canadian border legally. So then we go to a Canadian drugstore. This is a busload of senior citizens. We go into that Canadian drugstore, and they buy their prescriptions. And I want to tell you about one person I sat next to on one of the many best trips. I sat next to a person who had to take tamoxifen, a wonderful drug that we are glad we have for breast cancer, but they take 30 pills a month. At that point, I think it cost them about $150 a month for their 30 pills. But when we got across to the Canadian border, it was $12.35. That was highway robbery, in my opinion. You know why that was? Because the Canadian government, just like every other Western nation, requires that they, that they negotiate for the best price possible. Gentlewoman the yield, Madam Speaker. Not quite. I'm almost done, though. They, they negotiate for the best price possible. So as far as I'm concerned, that's what should have been in that prescription drug plan that was decided in the middle of the night when arms were twisted to get every last vote. That's what should be closing the donut hole, lowering prescription drug prices in the health care bill that we will debate soon.